What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> the date! 12, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? The other kids at St. Bernard Academy, they were the girls who didn't belong. Heard of invoking the spirit? Black magic. <laughs> <laughs> The Craft was released on May 3rd, 1996, and today marks its 25th anniversary. So, does it hold up? This is episode number 16 or something like that. Again, I don't crack at all on the number till I do a thumbnail video editing. So, you know, it's question mark one number. But The Craft, I was originally gonna do this alongside with Craft Legacy. It came out last year because I thought that was a remake. But when I looked it up, it's like a sequel. I saw a reboot at first, and then it up now. It's actually like known as a sequel. So, I was like, okay, scrap that. I guess I'll just do this as its 25th anniversary and then go on my X Men video. So, The Craft, only thing I knew of this was the movie that came out last year that connected to it and then Campbell being in the movie he's in the movie I don't know I mean all I know is a lot of weird stuff witchery stuff and just cult stuff all I pretty much knew so I went and open-minded to see what I would get and I got a, a good witch flick you know it's a good like teen I don't know struggles and high school or whatever and then being witches and using their power as an advantage in high school backfires in the end and it breaks them apart and stuff like that it's a fun movie I've never heard of it until the 2020 version the legacy or the craft the legacy I guess there's a reason why this one's just good. It's not this cold. I mean, I'm sure there's really like there's like fanatic out there for this movie, but I mean, you know, it's good. I'm gonna try to actually, you know, hold on. Sure, for the first time in a while, I actually wrote notes. So we have our main girl Sarah, who's like a new kid in town. Also, we have Nancy, Neff Campbell, and then Rochelle or Rochelle, the black girl. Those are the four main girls, the four main characters, and their issues around high school and boy bullies and other girls. So I want to speak on each character before they get their powers or not get their powers, but before they like use their powers for you know advantages. So we have Sarah, our main girl, but the new girl who's moving in, doesn't know anybody. She tries to connect people but they just kind of like blow her off or other girls who are known as witches in the school when she's like talking to like the night boy or a nice guy apparently those two are known as witches based on their looks or, or all the activity that they are doing i don't know whether they don't seem normal to the rest of the kids so you know she gets to know girls and whatnot they go out and do cold stuff do spell work and she learns to you know take a liking to them until it backfires so that's sarah and then neff campbell her sort of issue is that she has like a skin disease or like skin issue i thought it was a needle poking into her and they knew it couldn't poke but it's not or is it i don't know there's like this scene of like like a needle or some like something pointy on the back of her skin she was crying it hurts and she doesn't like it she feels that because of this she doesn't get acknowledged enough at school till she does gets to thank off she does get acknowledged by you know boys at school and whatnot specifically these two boys which by the way they're one piece of work these two boys that like you know hazing other kids in the school hilarious but it's like man get rid of these boys kill these boys please with their witchery stuff and then rochelle am i saying that right? i feel like i'm saying that wrong if i'm saying that wrong completely apologize for that but her issue is that the one girl's bullying her at a water below like training training why did i say training at practice she like yells at her not yells at her but she like always hazes her diving into the pool for like the perfect guy until she uses her ritual spell to get rid of her okay maybe not get rid of her but mess with her so that's kind of her issue and then nancy she's the girl that has the family issue her family both her parents are kind of cracking she lives in a trailer she hates it there her father's at one point even trying to check her out on sexual assault her dysfunctional family that doesn't seem to cure for her and she's only in this situation because of her parents she can't get out of but also can't because she has to live with them because she's parent but you know that's a bad situation all of that comes to a head when the four girls are like hey we're witches we can make a spell in the middle of the woods i think i think yeah they, they go on a bug and they go to the middle of the woods and start doing witcher stuff ask her spells and so for sarah she gets the one nice war she uses that spell to give her make him love her so his bullet to me all on her the very first scene mentally is him in, in class he just he just turns back and looks at her like a lot and the teacher has to like, keep telling her to stop it was okay sign of the spell work. cool works for nick campbell her skin is off apparently her mother when she takes her to the doctor the skin just comes right off magically like oh it works then for rochelle or for rochelle or rochelle he makes a girl that she's getting bullied by lose her hair and it's pretty like scary but also like revenge or payback but then it's like oh man it's gonna semi ruin her life but it's gonna ruin her life now but ultimately in the future it's not gonna mean much it means hard for life but she'll be fine right she'll be fine in the future and then probably like the worst one but also i guess best version of the spell is for nancy apparently in order for her spell to work so everyone's spell starts working and she kind of like man fuck this spell shit ain't working kind of feel bad for her but it work just kind of later for some reason and it's only prolonged her father died her like wish was that she doesn't want to be like right track in order for that to happen her father died and then they get like money they get like a shit ton of money i forgot the exact number i think it's a million but it's enough for them to go live in an apartment and i had a trailer no more her and her mother are very happy there's a scene of them laughing and being very excited by the fact that their father maybe not their father dying but they have the money because of their father's death person giving them this money or talking to them should have been freaked out loud <laughs> oh. ah! 
all of their spells work until it backfires. Now, one thing I will say that does age well are the core characters. I think all these four girls, they work well, they gel well, they have a good chemistry, chemistry with each other. It just seems like they're having fun. There's effects in this movie, but it's not big and grand. It's stuff that, that are used well, that ages well. It works today, 2021. Now, it's not like an immediate notice backfired. It's slowly building up, which I do like. Like the boyfriend being too clingy and showing up to Sarah's house in the middle of the night. That's the first backfire. The girl losing her hair was funny at first, so she eventually grows like to being bald. Black girl feels bad for it, but not Nancy or Nev Campbell because she just loses her skin. Like she gets boys, some of the boys that like her, kind of harmful in a way. But Nancy, she feels no remorse. Leading up to this beach scene where she like something happened around a fire, the whole ritual stuff, and then all the sharks are at the bay, all dead, and Nancy's like laughing about it. She feels powerful, while the rest of the girls are kind of like hesitant and being like crazy as hell. And this is kind of the start of me sort of liking Nancy, her like craziness, evil of the witches, and this actress, she plays evil well. She has the big crazy eye. It's just great. So then we get to the whole like cause of the line point where the nice guy, the nice boy is too clanky to Sarah, tries to sexual assault her, and he does, but she gets away from it. Rochelle feels bad for her bully, even though she deserves it, even though she wanted to just mess with her. All they wanted was to mess with people that ruined their lives, but the Indians, though, they're kind of ruining their lives as well, kind of killing them, and they don't want that at all. Nancy, on the other hand, the next thing, the next overboard, is that she kills a boy out of the of this large window and hits his head on a cement or something, and she kills a person, so technically this is the second person. She kills her father, and she feels no remorse because they think they deserved it. She feels very powerful. She liked her that she has. Obviously, not a good thing. And so this is like the whole splitting apart thing. Kind of a big thing for Sarah because all she wanted to do is to make new friends and this new town and new school. But in doing so, the first people that she meets and makes friends with kind of turn out their back on her. And so she has to fight by herself. Neff Campbell and Rochelle join now. Then later on, they're like, you know what? We're off. And then both Sarah and Nancy, they have like cool and decent retreat. <laughs> in mirrors and shit blasting them in the mirrors it's you know a decent fight it's not amazing but it was fun and i think that's the one thing i say about this movie 25 years later still enjoyable watchable and fun and that's it if you go in thinking something grand or something you're probably gonna be disappointed but this is a lot of fun so she defeats nancy in a way and she sends nancy into a mental institution and you're at the end spreading out some crazy stuff having a doctor come in and going back out i think it actually ends with her shot and then neff campbell and Lockwood, they try to come back saying to apologize to sarah but sarah just kind of pushes them away threatens them with branch all around them warning them and back off like, okay because of this experience he's not a bad person but we're not gonna have any friends anytime soon or maybe forever so that was the craft 1996 like i said earlier it's still an entertaining fun watch and if you're thinking i don't know you want some witchery with battle which there is at the end but i'm assuming the budget was so low on this movie and all these four girls and actresses were well known at the time they were just kind of brand new this is probably like a more on a smaller budget movie but it worked the characters the main four girls works they gel well their chemistry is good that's the whole point of the movie so it worked the witchery effect stuff they work is really to none in it when it is shown these and having this all this power isn't really necessarily good it backfires and creates you know drama and like it tears people apart tears friendships apart and so the craft 1996 25 years later they're really good good and watchable enjoyable film so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching